Welcome back guys, this is Khan's Garage. This video is gonna be a little different. I usually show the whole job from beginning to end. But this video, I'm only gonna show the hardest part of this job. Uh, this is, we're replacing struts on this Toyota 4Runner. This is a 2005 model. And this has uh, the XREAS system, which is, uh, which is a hydraulic shocks and struts. So let me show you what the hardest part to do in this car is. Now you see the front struts over here? This goes into this plate over here that holds the, the top of the strut and this fro freezes solid, rusts solid with this piece over here. Now I have tons of videos on how to replace shocks and struts so I don't want to make another video. So let me tell you real quick what um, you need to do to get to this point. We have to separate these two. So let's start from the top here. There's three nuts up here. Take those off. Now down here, take the end link off up here and take it off on the other side and just swing the sway bar up and I just bungee it up here. And down here, this is the hydraulic uh, suspension I was talking about. What we're gonna do in this car is a common uh, thing to do is just replace these with regular struts. Uh, and delete the hydraulic system. So I'm just going to cut this rubber hose up there where it meets the, the hard line. You're better off doing it this way. You have less problems, uh, less leaks, less, less issues, and it's much less expensive to do it this way. And there's nothing wrong with regular shocks and uh, struts. Next thing here is pop this tie rod off and put this off to the side. And there's two bolts here holding this lower control arm bolt joint to this hub over here these two and now this is separate from this and what I do I put an OTC little tool here let me show you I also put this in the link in the description below this thing I put this over here and just put a pry bar here and go down you can go down a couple of three to five inches down and it'll give you some space to wiggle this strut out so right now I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do here to make this a snappy job. Alright, unfortunately, you got to have an air hammer to do this job. Or you're going to be here hitting this thing for uh, hours and hours on end if it's really bad. Right now, let me give it the beans right here. Hit it right there. So I don't know if you guys saw that, but there was a slight instance where it, it just like popped a little bit. So now you see, this whole thing is loose. Okay, now pulling down the control arm underneath. I got a sway bar up, got a tie rod out. This bad boy comes right out, just like that. And this is where I was hammering right here. And you see all this rust, this rust solid on the plate over there. I'll show you the mounting plate over there. And as you can see over here, you see all this rust over here? That's where it rusts frozen. Now what you could do is you could lightly sand all this to get this rust and scale out of the way. Then use some of this on there, some fluid film, and coat it all the way over there and inside the ring over here. And also put some on the new strut when you uh, put your new strut in. All right, the only other thing that might give, a, give, a, might give you a little bit of a hassle is uh, this stud spins in here when you take the upper end link off. This all turns, so you might have to put, what I did, I just put a vice grip in here to hold this right over here, and then spin this off. So that's the hardest part of this job. I hope, uh, I, hope I helped you guys out, or whoever's stuck doing this. But you do need an air hammer, unfortunately, to do this job. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, like me, and share me. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, Clown1969. See ya!